So this is my camera. This is a uh, Moravian Instruments G2 8300 um, CCD camera with the external filter wheel. And I've had this camera for about two years and it's populated with 31 millimeter Astrodon filters. So it was quite an investment. The one you can see there is the luminance and then there's LRGB and there's an HA in there as well. And what I want to do is reprovision this for astrophotography, uh, wide field astrophotography. I've been using it connected to my telescope and that's worked really, really well and I've got some great images from it. But I've become increasingly interested in astrophotography wide field, particularly with this lens. This is the um, Samyang, or you guys in the United States call it the, a Rokinon, I believe. And this is a Samyang 135 millimeter lens. It's really good, it's a real high performer for very modest cost. So that's one lens. Um, another lens, a nice lens that I, I use is this one here. This is the um, 14 millimeter. Um, again, Samyang or rocking on for you guys in the United States. Um, and another real nice lens is this one. This is the um, well-known Nifty 50 as it's sometimes called, standard 50 millimeter. All these are prime focus lenses by the way, and they all um, produce really nice, superb results on wide field um, astrophotography. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to reprovision this camera, which is a really nice camera with the CAF 8300 sensor, the Kodak 8300 sensor. I wanted to reprovision this so I can connect it to these lenses. And I was wondering, how am I gonna do that? And the way that you do it is, Moravian Instruments manufacturer an adapter so it's called there and they make several types of this adapter and you need to get the correct one this adapter that I bought is the one that connects to the um, external filter wheel which is what I've got as I've discussed this is the external filter wheel and this allows you to mate a Canon fit lens and these are all Canon fit lenses the Samyang make their lenses in different mount types. This is this particular type is for Canon. So again, as I'm sure you guys know with who know about lenses, you put this adapter allows you to connect this, turn it round, you hear that click, and that's now connected to the Moravian Instruments camera via this adapter. And I was expecting, uh, reading some, some forums, I, I was expecting some mixed results with this, but that's really captured, captured this really solid. There's no wobble in that whatsoever. You know, there's no give or sag at all. So it looks pretty impressive. And again, time will tell when I, when I put get this underneath the sky and see whether there's any flex during it when I do this, but it's looking pretty good. And to be able to release the lens, you just press this little thing down here, turn it around, and the lens pops back out again. So it works really, really well, or it appears to anyway. So what's my thoughts about this? Well, as you can see in some of the photographs that I put on my post on this on my website, sjkastro.com, the mounting points for this are really poorly hidden behind this ring. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what else they could have done but the points where this adapter screws into the threaded filter wheel are hidden underneath this with, with Allen key and it's hidden underneath this flange, which means you have to take the flange off of the metal part of the adapter that screws into the filter wheel. So you have to carefully take that off, screw the black part of the flange down and then remount the silver bit on top. Now that is not going to be particularly uh, robust to do, or I'm not sure how many times you're going to be able to take this off, put it back, to take it off, put it back. So it, it sort of like dedicates the camera to just the lenses, which is not really what, what I want to do. I want, still want to be able to use this camera connected to my telescopes. It's true, yeah, I do want to use it for wide field, but I also want to connect it to my telescope as well. So the solution, we've got a solution to that. Now, as I'm sure many people to astrophotography know, generally people tend to start out with a DSLR and you can get adapters for DSLRs 
which allows you to connect it to a telescope. When I connect it on right, that is. Here we go. So this is a Canon adapter which exposes a T2 thread. And if you've got a T2 to two inch adapter, you can screw this in here, right? And then you can mount your DSLR to a camera. So following the same principle, this adapter can also be used to connect to the Moravian Instruments adapter. So I can still maintain using this camera as on, on my telescope, if that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, so the reason, again, just to recap, the reason why I brought this adapter into the discussion is because I don't think it's going to be possible to keep removing this and putting it back on and removing it, putting it depending on what I want to image a particular night. I'm not going to be able to keep taking this off all the time by the virtue of how this has been manufactured and how it fits onto the filter wheel. I don't see how that would be possible because I have, I'd have to keep taking out those tiny little screws that you can see there and they'll, let's get back into focus, they're really small, right? And they're hidden, the, these, these, these Allen key, these Allen screws or bolts, strictly speaking, um, are hidden beneath this silver. So it's difficult to actually get access to them. So you've got to take the adapter apart and that is not going to be robust long term. So again, I, I intend to leave that on permanently so that I can do one of two things. Either I can A, use the camera still and use it for Canon lenses like this. Yeah, so I've got a Canon lens or pressing that down again, remove that. I can continue to use this on the telescope by using a DSLR Canon adapter and that works well as well. Now just to prove this is a Canon Nifty 50 as I mentioned earlier on this also fits very nicely in here as well. Okay and that's now locked on so I've got Nifty 50 there so that would be good for imaging entire constellations right so that would work really well too. So yeah, I hope you found that useful. It's very, um, sp it's a very specific video. I'm, I must say, because you know, to be watching this, this is something that you probably you, you you're interested in doing, but it works well. Um, so, again, my intention is to leave that on now permanently, and I can reprovision the camera for either using my lenses, or I can use them for um, connecting it directly onto the telescope. And again, for people who may think, oh yeah, well that's gonna change your back focus. That's not an issue to me because I'm not using a focal reducer on the particular telescope anyway, so it's not, it's not really a problem to me. And I don't get much vignette in here either because by virtue of the fact that these are 31 millimeter filters. So it's a nice setup and again, nice wide angle lenses here too, so that um, I can, I, I, I'm, I'm very, ver I'm set up very versatile now and I can do lots of different, lots of different things as well. Again, now and that's really wide field. So anyway, I think I'm rambling on now. I think you get the message, a vi versatile wide field setup. And again, just to recap, this, the video has been about how to connect lenses and how to continue to connect your te uh, telescope to this Moravian G2 8300 camera. So I hope you found it useful guys, clear skies, and I'll speak to you on my next video.